Hello everybody. Today is, well this whole week, is rush week for the new members of Chi Omega and all the other sororities on Western's campus. Oh my god, this lighting is just not it. I look extremely gross right now because I've been up since 8 a.m. and it's now 5 o'clock. So we've been talking to new girls obviously it's all virtual but it's like all over zoom and we've had like a few breaks like i'm on my second break right now so we have like about an hour before we have to get on again but i just wanted to start off the vlog because i wanted to do like either a week in my life or a weekend in my life something like that because I want to show the whole process because I did this last year when I was going into a sorority and now I want to do it from like my perspective of already being in one. So let's get into the week. This is the setup I've had for the past like six hours. I've been sitting here because this is the only like natural light in my apartment and I've been snacking on these all day and I literally just realized after I wasn't busy that I didn't wash them so now I'm like really disgusted. I can't wait to take all this makeup off. Definitely not a makeup person. I wear minimal if any every day. So having this on my face for this long is like absolutely disgusting to me. But it's been a very fun day. I love talking to all the girls and it's just like fun to like meet new people and talk to people that you've never talked to before and like they're from all over the place. So it's been very fun. I couldn't stand the makeup on my face, so I took it off. But we have like 30, 35 more minutes left until the next session. So I'm going to take a really quick shower. I'm using these two things in the shower for my face. Okay, I don't really know if you guys can really see me, but I just got out of the shower. And I'm putting on hydrolic acid. Oh, it burns really bad. My face has been extremely dry because I started new acne medication. So it's been really bad. So I'm trying to hydrate it as much as possible. But it's pretty hard considering what the acne medication does is dry you out. My nighttime routine is pretty simple. I just use the hydraulic acid, some moisturizer, actually a lot of moisturizer. Everything I put on my face burns so bad because it's so dry. To help with the dryness, I put on this CeraVe healing ointment. It's literally just petroleum jelly, which is Vaseline. And it sounds weird, but like every single esthetician, dermatologist, anything recommends this because it's so hydrating and it's non chemogenic so it won't cause your pores to close or clog. So that's it. It makes my face really oily, but I'm okay with it, obviously. If it's at night and it's... <laughs> And no one's seeing me. So you can do it anywhere? Yeah, it's literally like a job that you're off anywhere. Yeah. Hello, I'm finally actually getting in bed. It's like 11.30 right now. We have to wake up at, I think, well, we have to be online at 8.45. So probably wake up at like 7.45 or 8.00. I just want to show you guys my room at the end of the day because it's like the most amazing thing ever and it's so cozy and I love it. It looks like blue on camera but this is actually a purple light that I just like reflect throughout my whole room. And it like totally lights up the whole room and I love it a lot. It's like totally sets the mood and it's such a good vibe but... It's 11.30 right now. I'm gonna go to bed. Sorry, it's like not good lighting, but I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow.
Okay, this is round three makeup and outfit. I did the most minimal makeup. I actually didn't put any foundation on. I just put um, concealer on. And then this is, we are supposed to wear like a yellow dress. And I found this. It looks like more orange on camera, but it's actually yellow. And I don't have an iron, so that's why there's lines. So just don't mind that. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to wear my sweatpants under this because I get really, really cold. But I really like it. It's from Princess Polly. And I bought it because I could easily wear it again. Like, I didn't just buy it just for this. So, got my socks on. Ready to go. Everybody, we just got done with round three and then we have to go back um, for a virtual like bid day um, on zoom so I think I'm gonna take my makeup off and then just like redo it tonight just so it's not just like sitting on my face cuz it's 2 30 right now I don't have any homework or I should probably double check but I don't have any homework so I think I'm going to go get lunch or either make lunch. I haven't decided yet, but yeah. Just got back to my apartment with sushi. I get a avocado roll and a sweet potato roll. It's like the most amazing thing ever. And then instead of soy sauce, because obviously it has a lot of sodium in it, I like to use this coconut aminos. It's so good and it's like thick and creamy. And it's amazing. I just use the one by Bragg's, which is really, really good. I definitely recommend. Okay, it's almost six o'clock I think and I just made some pasta with broccoli and kale and then I also put this Trader Joe's mozzarella it's made out of cashews and I thought it was really cool I want to try it out it's not amazing but it's actually not that bad for the ingredients which are super minimal so if you're looking for a new vegan cheese, I recommend this. The first, at first the uh, taste is a little bit weird, but the aftertaste is really good. Okay, it's about 8.15 in the morning. I woke up at like 7.45 and I have a class at 9, which sucks. But I have a parking pass so I can drive to class so i don't have to walk because it's like a three mile walk so really happy for that but after that class it ends at 10 50 i think depending on what i feel like i'm either gonna go get a coffee or i'm gonna go come back and take a nap <laughs> because i'm so tired and this weekend was like extremely exhausting so we'll see what happens just got back from class and I have smoothie in my teeth. Ooh. I just got back from class and I was like starving because I didn't eat anything before class and it was a two hour class basically. So I came home and I made a smoothie which was like almost gone and this had just like a bunch of stuff in it. It had banana frozen strawberries frozen blueberries peanut butter a bunch of different seeds like seed, chia seeds hemp seeds flax seeds um spirulina a little bit of vegan protein powder um coconut water one date and almond milk that was really out of order but that's all that was in there it was super yummy and then I made a matcha latte. 
there's cinnamon in it that's why it looks like that but this is like my favorite thing ever i have one every single day also at trader joe's i picked up some figs like some fresh figs i've only tried dried figs so i got these just to try and i don't know i don't know what it is i just don't like them they're just like so different i just like thought the consistency would be like dried figs which i don't really know why i assumed that but i saw this thing on someone's instagram they melted dark chocolate like vegan dark chocolate and then dip the fig in there and then freeze it or like put it in the refrigerator and that was like their dessert or whatever or a snack whatever it is so i really want to try that it's what, like the main reason why i got them so i'm gonna make those today i don't have anything going on until four in the mornings i love going on youtube and just watching videos from this channel because it is like so educational and right now i'm watching this one the power of nutrition and this guy is the author of how not to die which i have the book of but it's so long there's no way i could like finish that but yeah i love doing this in the mornings and then obviously drinking my matcha i'm currently in bed right now <laughs> because i'm so tired like i've woken up so early in the morning for the past like four or five days and then i've been going to sleep super late at night so i've been like exhausted i don't think i'm gonna fall asleep but i'm just like laying down and chilling out and i'm watching keaton right now on youtube she's one of my favorite youtubers and i love her vlog so that's what i'm doing okay i look like a mess but i just got done um watching that video it was like an hour long vlog so i was just like watching it i look so gross wow um i just finished watching it and my room is not that messy but i just like want to clean up a little bit because i just like being organized and then i think what i'm gonna do after i do that is write down everything i have to do this week in my planner i like doing that usually on sundays but yesterday i was really busy so i couldn't do that but i'm gonna write down everything and i think i'm gonna shop a <laughs> shop a little bit whether it's online or in store i'm not exactly sure yet i don't even know what time it is it's almost one o'clock so i don't have anything for like three more hours so i don't exactly know what i'm gonna do yet but i'll keep you guys updated So I'm about to do this assignment, but I thought I'd show you guys how I do my homework slash study with the whole virtual classes thing. So I have an iPad Pro. This is the 11 point something inch. And I swear to you, it is the most amazing thing ever. I don't think I'd be able to 
do school without it. So basically what I do is this is the website we use for my school. I know it's different for everybody, but this is a specific one we use. And he gives us a worksheet right there. So then I save it to my computer. I just go to save as. And then from here, I save it to my desktop, my iCloud desktop. So then what I can do is I go to the specific class it's for. And then I can go to files. And then it will pop up right here. And then I just download it, create a new note. You can change the title. So I'm just gonna delete the revise part to it. And then it's to the right subject. So then I just press import. In that way, I can just physically write on it with my Apple Pencil, which is also amazing. Instead of like printing it all out and then having to scan it and then turn it in. This way it's just super easy. so bad so and I feel gross so I'm gonna take a shower and like wash my hair and just like get all clean I just finished all my homework for the day what I didn't show you guys was how I like organize everything so I like every single day I just do a few things like I say like to do this for like certain assignments before they're due but these the ones in colors are when they're actually due, if that makes any sense. So I just like have an organized schedule of what to do each day so I know and I'm not stressed out that way. So I already had matcha today too, but I really want some coffee, but I want to like go sit down and get coffee. But like, I hate like asking people to like do things. I don't know what it is. I just feel really weird about that. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I'll let you guys know. This is the body lotion I put on every single time I get out of the shower, even when I'm not in the shower or when I don't get out of the shower, I put it on because there's no scent to it, but it most it feels so amazing on your skin. This is such a good brand. If you haven't heard of it before, it's all over Instagram and all of like the YouTube people are getting sent this and I'm so jealous because it's such a good brand. And I think this is like my second or third body lotion from them. And I use the body wash and exfoliator and it's amazing. And then I put on this roll on perfume and it's the most refreshing smell ever it makes you feel so fresh and i got it in a fab fit fun box i think this is the brand it's amazing so i just got out of the shower and i brushed my hair and i've been noticing that my ends of my hair are like extremely dry so I think I'm gonna go to Target and get a few things, but I just wanted to mention that in like the colder months around this time, and then obviously all throughout winter, 
my face is like extremely dry there's absolutely nothing that will help it but i got this at cvs um probably like a month ago and this has like transformed like the what's the word i guess like the dryness of my skin it's amazing it kind of you can tell that it's like a little bit like oily looking but it's not bad at all if you have really dry skin then i definitely recommend this it's amazing it's by cerave it's just a healing ointment all it is is petroleum which is vaseline so you could literally just get vaseline if you wanted to but this has ceramides in it which is obviously really good for your skin so i like using this one you can get it at target as well amazing Okay, I just got out of Target and I'm in the Marshalls parking lot because I returned to do. But I only found two things at Target because they literally had like nothing of like e.l.f. products, which kind of sucks because I really wanted that like eyebrow stuff because I was running out. But I completely ran out of mascara and I heard a lot of good things about this one. It's kind of like a dupe for the Better Than Sex. It's this one by L'Oreal. It's the Lash Paradise. So I just got that in like the black is black color. And then I've been trying to find an oil for my hair because it's so dry all the time. Um, and I saw this one. I was looking for an oil that had both like hair and you can use it on like your body and stuff. So I found this one and i looked up the like reviews and a lot of people said they use it on their hair so i know it's fine it's the dr teal's um body oil and it just has like essential oils in it um the jojoba oil i'm not exactly sure if that's how you say it but that's the specific oil i wanted to get in the first place but i found this one with it in it and it also has sweet almond oil and aloe vera so I'm gonna try this out. I like doing like lymphatic massages to my stomach because I do have IBS. If you don't know what a lymphatic massage is, it's really, really good for your stomach area, I guess. Like it totally like massages out all your toxins and I know a way, or I found this thing on TikTok and they showed me how to do a like self lymphatic massage because I used to like go get them done professionally, but now I can just do it on myself. Obviously it's not as beneficial, but it still really really helps me and i can totally tell a difference in my digestion and just like my overall appearance so i really like that and i definitely recommend looking into that if you're interested so i'm going to go into marshall's right now i'm in the parking lot i bought a pair of like jogger things the other day and they were way too big so I'm gonna return them and I also just ordered sushi for lunch because I haven't ate anything since a smoothie and a matcha this morning so just order that I didn't feel myself or maybe I did I can't remember to be honest with you and it's gonna be done in like 15 minutes so I'm gonna go in Marshall's and then go pick up my sushi okay I went to Marshall's and the line was literally out the door so I was not about to wait in that for a return and then I went to go pick up my sushi and the guy goes he looks at me he's like Olivia right I'm like that's how you know it's bad that I eat out too much well here at least but like I'm literally here all the time and it's really embarrassing when you're always at a restaurant and they literally know you by your name so I'm gonna go take this back to my apartment I just emailed the lady that I'm supposed to have a meeting with for my internship, but I'm not sure if it's happening at four. So I may or may not be doing that in like 30 minutes, but I'll keep you guys updated. This looks amazing. 
then I use the essence of soy sauce. So good. Okay, I just got done eating and I have a meeting. Hopefully it won't last long, but I'm not exactly sure, but I'm super excited because we get to like dress really cute tonight and I want to show you guys what we're going to wear or I'm going to wear. So I put it on this hanger so it's all like laid out and cute. Obviously you're going to see what it's like on, but I got this really cute skirt from Princess Polly and it fits me perfectly so I'm so excited to wear it. And since it's a little chilly out, I'm wearing this, like, white long sleeve from Maritzia. And the theme is Love You Like Kayo. So it's super cute. And I'm so excited to show you guys what this looks like on. Okay, I just laid down for, like, an hour because my head was throbbing. I've been to the doctor about it. And they gave me, like, some supplements to take. And it's, like, not helping. So that's concerning. But... I'm going to start getting ready. I think I'm going to curl my hair. This is the curler I use. It's the bedhead one. It's orange. I think I got it at Target and it works really well. I'm gonna take this little clip thing that my dog like bit apart and I'm going to section my hair. Okay, this is the final look. Obviously my makeup's not done, but the hair looks good. I'll probably, I have a few more pieces that I have to do like that one. But besides that, it looks good. I'm gonna start my makeup cause I have to leave in like 20 minutes. So kinda have to hurry. Makeup is complete. I did purple eyeshadow to like match with like the whole pink vibrant vibe. Wait, what is it? Pink vibrant vibe. Okay, this is the fit. We wear these shirts that say "Love You Like Kayo," I think something like that. And then it's kind of cold outside, so I put this like long sleeve turtleneck on which is from Aritzia and I really like it and then like I said this skirt is from Princess Pally and then these boots are actually from TJ Maxx I think or no DSW and they're on sale and I really like them and then to go with the super cute fit we have these masks that say under here if you can see XOXO Kayo. So yeah, that's the look. And the hair and makeup's all done. I'm excited.
awful lighting because of the light but basically what I do at night is get my whole like environment set up if that makes sense like I usually take a shower at night just to like get cleaned up and everything because I love the feeling of like being fresh and then I like set the candles or what I set the candles I put the candles on and then I'll turn all the lights off and then once I like actually want to get into bed I turn all that off and then like the smell of it is like insanely good and then I'll get into bed and usually watch some YouTube but right now I'm watching what I eat in a week by this girl her name's Ashley Wicka I think I love her videos because she has like a bunch of good vegan recipes and then I love going on Pinterest at night on my iPad and just looking at like inspiration because I love that kind of stuff at night just to like set the vibe so after all that I will read my book which is right there it's you are a badass and that's how I complete my nights it's like the most relaxing thing ever I love spending my nights like this and I wake up in the morning so refreshed. over follow-up and rejection and kind of how to overcome these situations because you know not hearing back right now doesn't mean that they're not going to respond to you i haven't been on here like actually talking yet but i have been very productive today i got all the all my homework done i had a meeting for my internship 12 30 until 1 30 it just ended so i have a class at 3 30 so it's not for a while and I just feel very productive today. Okay, so I've been eyeing this bag for the longest time and I actually think I'm going to buy it right now. Maybe not right this second, but within the next couple days. It's so beautiful. I don't think it's this dark in person because I've seen it in person and it's a lot lighter and the camera is picking up like more camel colored tones instead of like neutral. And I love it so much, and I think I'm gonna buy it. Outside of the classroom, um, whether on or off. So I was on my online class, and my Wi Fi just crashed, so that's always great. I'm gonna go back to it in a couple of minutes to see if it'll reboot, but I wanna show you guys the two things I got from HM. I don't know why I look orange, this is really weird. I got these taupe colored yellow, or not yellow, what? Um, taupe colored leather pants, and they're extremely soft on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like suede on the inside, and they fit perfectly. I already tried them on like super quickly before class, but they feel like super good quality, and they come down to like right there. I'll try them on for you guys, and then... I also got what everyone is like raving about on Instagram, which is a sweater vest, and it actually looks pretty cute on. So I'm gonna put on this outfit right now and show you guys. Okay, this is what it looks like on. I can't find my like button up white, like collared shirt thing. I swear I brought it, but like. 
I literally could not find it in my closet and I'm really confused. But the pants are super good quality. But what I don't like is when I put my legs together, it like does that right there. But I guess like you can't really get away from that in leather pants, I feel like, because of the material. But then this is the sweater vest. I really like it. But I just feel like I don't know. Like I don't know if I like it or not. I have to decide. But I wish I had that button up thing and I'm so mad that I don't know where it is. I just slipped on my white sneakers and this outfit is super cute. I feel like I need something underneath it. What I really want is like a long sleeve black dress so I can just like put it over like that and I think it would be so cute. But both of these things together were only $45 so I think, and by the way, this is from H&M. I don't know, even, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I think I really like it, and I think I'm going to keep them both. I honestly might order a pair of black leather pants. These are faux leather, by the way. And I think that would be super cute. I found this dress on Zara, and it's something that I was like exactly looking for. I don't know if you guys can really see. Kind of, maybe. I don't know, but this is something exactly what I was looking for. It looks so cute with the sweaters, sweater vest over it. I'm gonna get this. I'm about to leave for the last class of the day. My backpack is so heavy. Um, this is what I'm wearing. Like I said the other day, I like to be like super comfortable during class. I don't like to wear like crazy outfits. So this is the fit. Both are from Aritzia. And then my shoes. And yeah. Hello everybody. I don't know where I left off. But I made a salad. I think that's where I left off. I made a salad for dinner. And it just had romaine, artichoke, cucumber, chickpeas, and balsamic vinaigrette from Trader Joe's. And then I had to go get some art supplies for my art project, which is super annoying because I absolutely hate art. But I went to go get that and then I came back and took a shower, just rinsed off and shaved. I have a sorority meeting in like 10 minutes so i'm about to get that ready but after my sorority meeting i really want to do at least one art project because i have i look really oily because of my i'm actually not oily it's from my healing ointment that i put on at night because my face is really dry so i'm not like greasy or anything I promise but I want to do at least one art project tonight so I only have to do two tomorrow or maybe like maybe I'll just do all three of them or I don't know what I'm gonna do but they're due on Monday and hopefully I'll be back by Sunday evening because I'm going to a state for the weekend to see my friends and my boyfriend and I'm really excited because I haven't seen him in a while and yeah i'm going to go on this meeting and then i don't know what i'm gonna do after good morning taking this that it's the core wellness ginger shot because i usually have water with lemon but i don't have any more lemon so i'm gonna take this instead wrong hello everybody this is like so weird but like it's like such a weird outro thing i am editing my video and it's a super long video and i am just now realizing i never really like said uh 
goodbye type of situation so this is it i just want to say thank you so much for watching like and subscribe to my channel because i love making videos but it's really hard for me to take to stay consistent and i really really want to try to make that happen but again thank you so much for watching and i will see you later